In 1969, the company installed a North Electric Crossbar System, the direct dialing system, thus ending the use of live local operators. In 1973, the first major buried cable project was started on 219 East, starting at Bay Road. 1976. The board decided to split the stock shares, thus making 200 shares available instead of the original 100. Doug Holscher was hired on as a lineman and a central office technician. In the years of 1980 and 1981, the company installed a Stromberg Carlson digital switch. All party lines were reduced to two parties. In January of 1980, Preston Meyer was hired as a lineman and a technician. In 1985, the premises of 301 West South Street were purchased from the Peel Brothers. This location will serve as our business office and storage garage area in the future. The telephone company constructed a coax cable TV plant to service the village of New Knoxville. 1988. On May 25th, the business office was relocated to the 301 West South Street location. In February, Susan Quahorst was hired as bookkeeper to replace Lenora Gritzmaker, who retired in June of 1988. In 1989, a switch upgrade was completed to enable 911 service. 1990, the current digital switch was replaced with a new Siemens Stromberg Carlson switch. Equal access became available with the new switch. Equal access allowed customer to choose the carrier that they would like to handle their long distance service. With the new switch, all lines were moved to private lines. In 1994, the first fiber optic cable was installed to meet the telephone service company and GTE at the intersection of 33A and New Knoxville Glenwood Road. In the year of 1996, Preston Meyer was named general manager in May. A franchise agreement to offer cable TV service to the village of New Bremen was signed. In August, the first subscribers were hooked up. The 1996 Telecommunications Act was passed to encourage telecommunications competition. 1997, a franchise agreement to offer cable TV service to the village of Minster was signed. In the spring of 1999, the New Knoxville Telephone Company was the first small local exchange carrier in the state of Ohio to be granted a waiver to provision local telephone service outside of its traditional service territory by the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio. This edge out, as it was called, allows us to provide telephone service to areas beyond our original local service boundaries. Also in 1999, cable modem service was made available to any subscriber that had our cable TV service. This service provided high-speed, always-on connections to the internet without the need for a phone line. Due to the rapid growth, a wholly owned subsidiary was formed called NK Telco. It consists of the cable TV and internet businesses. The old storage shed was torn apart and reconstructed at the Historical Society Museum. As the industry evolved from a regulated to a competitive environment, new companies were formed and territory boundaries were removed. In 2001, NK Telco quickly seized this opportunity with the formation of Gold Star Communications, a competitive local exchange carrier, also known as a CLEC. Gold Star Communication began providing competitive long distance packages, competitive local service packages, and also high speed internet using existing copper wire plant known as DSL. The billing software was updated to Gensoft Systems, allowing us to bill for telephone, cable TV, internet, long distance, and future services all on one bill. With the growing demand for voice and data services, during the summer of 2002, Gold Star Communications purchased the new soft switch known as a next generation voice over IP VP3500, manufactured by Metaswitch to handle the upcoming SELEC telephone services. 2004 brought continued growth to the companies. Gold Star Communications and NK Telco joined together to build a fiber to the home community in Fort Laramie. This expansion allows the residents of Fort Laramie to receive local telephone service, cable TV and internet across one single optical fiber. In June of 2005, Gold Star Communications began offering nationwide wireless PCS telephone service. Also this year, New Knoxville Telephone Company continues to research plans to deliver video service over existing phone lines. 
Once tested, plans are to offer video services to existing phone customers in the rural areas. We hope you have enjoyed reviewing the history of the New Knoxville Telephone Company. The company has maintained a vision of growth by utilizing state-of-the-art equipment and a determination to serve the customer. The frequency of change for the customer and us has accelerated since the Telecommunications Act of 1996. Competition in the marketplace is driving the need for on-demand services like instant messaging, video on-demand movies, and portable landline IP phone service. It is truly amazing the impact the internet has had on all of us. This always-on media pipe provides the means to communicate instantly anywhere in the world. The industry is experiencing a paradigm change. This is quite a change in the last 100 years, and the New Knoxville Telephone Company is grateful to say we have met these challenges. Our future vision is similar to the past, to develop a portfolio of products and services that offer a value to our customers while participating in the markets we serve as a responsible, contributing corporate citizen. The Board of Directors and staff of the New Knoxville Telephone Company wishes to thank you, our customer, for allowing us to serve you.